All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for a new show. Yeah. My Hero Academia. Or or Boku no, no. Hero Academia? Mm-hmm. Why, why not? Uh, foul taste in the mouth, that Boku no. Let's just... <clears throat> Boku not. Um, <laughs> my Hero Academia. Yeah. Uh, recommended to us uh, by a really good friend of mine. This show... Uh, it seems like a bit of a eh. I just you know no, it's not really for us. It's another shonen. We're good, but I've heard really good things about people that legitimately cried multiple times throughout the first season, and I think that's pretty rare for a stereotypical shonen to do. And we like crying in shows. Well, that there's that too. We're big fans of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and as you know, if you are someone that has watched that there is a quite a large range of feels that you experience watching that show but yeah yeah are you ready for something new we have never watched this before i know that this has been out for a while this has been out for a decent amount of time but all i know is the way the 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 character the big guy the big oh guy and the uh the main character but other than that don't know uh, anything. I just know that they get a tournament arc in the second season. Oh. Um, okay. But... Cool. Well, then let's just get right into it. Find out what's going to happen. Woo! That was awesome. That was awesome. That was amazing. I really liked it. Oh my gosh. I'm enjoying a shonen right oh, now. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is cool. I mean, it's really new, so I think they've refined down a lot of yes, the problems that the older, that we had with the older ones, 90s yeah. shonen kind of generally had. Um, but, um, wow. I think the only weak part was literally the bully rival kid just being um, way yes. over the top. But yes. I think that's the flavor of this show. Right. Like, All Might is, is over, the top. over the top. He's yeah. so over the yeah, top. Yeah, this is, this is going to be like Lone Ranger style where the good guys... Where you know the white hats and the black guy and the bad guys have black hats and the black horses. Like I, I, I get that vibe, but also there's there's this kind of like hero's journey type thing I'm sensing. Yes, like quite they're literally. gonna like really double down and make this a hero's journey thing with the underdog mm-hmm. having the call to action, having the old mentor going through the tough stuff. But like that let's, means. Let's, like, think about this, okay? So, okay. All Might is probably going to be, like, the other main character with him and will, like, teach him maybe what he knows or something. Like, but oops, if, sorry. Um, <laughs> if All headphones. Might is the mentor figure, yeah, then that means right. he is probably going to die. Oh, so that fits in with your idea of Superman, but with a quirk, ha, a weakness. Yeah. So, when, if that, that was All Might, he was frailer smaller shorter or something yeah. he kind of hulks and becomes mm-hmm. all might right in like superhero yeah. form but does that mean that he has like just like like he can't hold that forever like Who he knows? can't be all might forever because you were saying that he's like potentially sick because the yeah. blood coming out yeah like maybe he was sick before he was a hero and mm. You know, so this was the big thing that he always wanted, and that's how they'll um, so, connect so, him to the main character. So, okay, so here's a thought. When they introduced the setting of quirks, which I love this whole thing of a a quirk-filled world. Right. Which is superpowers, but they're not like the, your stereotypical superpowers with, like, elemental control and flying and stuff. It's more like some kind of physical change or evolution in their body that makes them different. It's kind of like X-Men. But uh, it's 80% of the world has right. a quirk, and they get it really young. So everyone's really comfortable with it. Everyone's integrated into society yeah. with it. There isn't a lot of... Us versus them. Us versus them. Which actually, I'm thinking, is too complicated to start off with right off the bat for sure. this type of show. But I could really see things starting to go that direction with them talking about the way laws are structured for a show like this. But before we get too deep into this... Main character. He really cares about the world. Yep. Absolutely cares about the world. We really love to go into this, but if the main character 
is invested into the world at a 10 out of 10, the audience, us, we are more interested in the world because right. of the main character is. Yeah. And that is something that a lot of shows just don't do. Right. Um, it's, it's especially, really especially in the ones where the main character kind of has to carry the show, like via plot, like via the plot or reacting to the plot. Um, yeah. Shonen are very similar, kind of. Well, they're prone to that because of that protagonist, invincible. They do everything. Exactly. Everything works out for them, kind of syndrome. And they did the opposite of that. They did the this opposite one, of that. You know, making the super who super uh, normal person right. who can't do anything. You know, special. He's got all this desire and passion. Right. He wants to be a superhero. Yes. But he's beaten down by bullies. He's told he should give it up by the doctors. His mom is basically like kind so of so kind of pitying him a little bit. Yeah. And and I thought that was just great because like as far as as far as developing an emotional connection to the main character, like like ten out of ten as far as I'm concerned. You know, yeah. Total props for this one. Especially that scene where he's like, Mom. Oh yeah. Can I be a hero too? Yeah. And, like I uh, felt the tears welling up. I'm like, I met this kid ten minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. What the like, heck? And maybe that's why they do like the thing with the bully being so over the top. Sure. So that that way they can just say like, hey, you know, we're gonna do over the stop, top stuff. This is the kind of things that he has to deal with. That way, because that's not really what's important. And it's then when they go into right. the thing with his mom then that's way more important. You know, when right. he asks the question mm -hmm. to All Might, that's way more important. You know what he's going to ask before he asks it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, man. But that whole thing of him watching the video and just trying to... Oh, yeah. Like, wish. Just wish, like, maybe one day yeah. I'll get to be like him. Uh, and we all have our heroes that we kind of look up to and stuff, but right. there's that childlike innocence that you have when you look up to someone almost in a, like, a worshipful way mm -hmm. as he does to All Might. He's just like, oh, this will become a family treasure and heirloom. <laughs> ah, he's so perfect yeah. and amazing. He's fanboying. And I love and how All Might signed his book before <laughs> he asked him to. <laughs> okay, the show is funny. Here's another thing. I noticed that the style of humor that they did um, wasn't using a lot of the anime kind of typical face stuff exaggerated reactions yeah. yeah if anything they did that like a couple times and used it to great effect but it was a lot of in the uh like the dialogue mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm 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 really sensing some depth to this like shonen generally don't have a lot of depth until like 20 or 40 episodes in or something like that but if this first season is only 13 episodes i and and it's gotten so much acclaim as it has thus far. I I'm feeling very excited about our choice to start with this. Yes, me um, too. In in essence, the next episode is probably going to deal a little bit with the the All Might and uh, I keep wanting to call him Deku, but I remember that's not his name. It's not his name. That's what the the bully That's what the him. bully calls him. The bully's already forgettable or yeah. something. B Bukago or something was his last name. Anyhow, that whole interaction, if they can explore that, and like you were saying, they might have some kind of a connection because mm -hmm. if he's quirkless, but All Might has like a, like a really big weakness or something like yeah. that, or like a huge drawback, they could really identify with each other in that mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, there could be just some really cool things that could happen. And you notice they're all. It seems like from the from the uh, you know next episode preview, it seems like they're already going to thing where, the thing where the hero saves the bully. <laughs> like, oh, oh, so Izaku or I'm just gonna call him the main character for now mm -hmm. until I get his name memorized. Is going to what like try and save him from this tar creature or something like I that don't and know. all might will save him again or well it, it could go that way or or they were they, they were they were pretty obvious in the in the next episode thing talking about how all might has this drawback which i guess they kind of have to because the first season is only what 12 13 episodes they can't they can't uh you know they can't tease that really um so it could be that they just use that in the fight, you know, he goes to save his friend, and maybe he has the first like bit of trouble where he maybe he can't do it on his own, mm -hmm. and then basically main character has to like run in and like pull the bully from the 
you know, from the fight. Okay, I can see that. I feel like this universe is going to have a ridiculously large cast of characters. I'm excited for that, by the way. I love shows with large cast he of does characters. like those. But I feel like that allows them to basically pull a consistent flow of superheroes that we've never seen before to kind of sure. solve little yeah. problems and stuff. Uh -huh. But the plot is actually going to center around the growth of this main character into a hero. Right. Like, he keeps talking about it like he's narrating to us from the future, you know. And sure. he's saying, like, this is that moment where everything changed. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, okay, so if everything changed, you're a hero now? Like, uh, everything's better? Like, Are you the next All Might? Like, yeah, or, or what have you. So... Uh, I don't know. I don't have any other. I don't have any other thoughts. I really liked the. Uh, I really liked the uh, the name of the attacker, Texas Smash. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was I, great. I, I generally don't like named superhero attacks, but right. that was just hilarious. Um, oh, yeah. So, huh. I can't think of anything like like anything else to talk about okay can you um yeah what uh the... well then don't say it just tell me okay. yes like you yeah. got it mm -hmm. all right then... one of the other things that i really like that i've seen so far in this episode and granted this is just the first episode so, so it's really impressive that they have this um but usually using basically uh, just pictures, like without words, to communicate feeling. Um, in the in the opening, there was a part that really stood out to me, where basically, you know, All Might's like you know standing there, all All Might, and our main character is just like sort of like reaching out to him, but but like tentatively, like right. And I was just like, oh wow. Like, if that doesn't tell you pretty much everything you need to know about how he thinks of himself and this character, all night. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that was really impressive. Like, um, it, it reminded me a lot of, like, uh, Kamina Simone. Sure. Um, Sure. Oh, okay. That's a good comparison because yeah. All Might is this epitome of masculinity and, and goodness. Big smiles. And, and, big yeah. smiles and being a hero. Yeah. And Izaku or main character Deku or whatever, mm -hmm. he definitely has that Simone, oh, you're the best ever. Uh, I don't think highly of myself. Right. But I have a lot of hopes. Exactly. Does that mean that this is a like a huge character development show like it might be and that would be really dang cool because I usually be cool the biggest problem that we usually have with shonen mm -hmm. is that they don't do much character development they basically will equate like fights and powers and stuff to character, to development, character development. and it's not the same thing which is it is yes, it is like, it is so not the same thing not that that stuff can't be cool right. but you but we want to see replace good we, solid mm -hmm. character building we need like multi-dimensional aspects and contradictions and yeah. things where the characters are passionate about one thing but have reservations about another yeah. and all of the above mm -hmm. and see them go through conflicts, see them struggle see them yeah. overcome, see them fail and we're already seeing that even with the Superman guy yeah, so like, that's another thing I was a little bit worried about the character because he looked like the one punch man equivalent of Superman and Captain America mixed mm -hmm. all together yeah. with his crazy look but if he's got a weakness like right off the bat, like, oh yeah, that oh, that's yeah. awesome. Like more of that, and that gives me hope for how they introduce future powers. Yes. So say like everyone's power has a very cool application that's like super specific, uh huh. Because they're all like you know random stuff, like someone has big ears or something, you know, right. whatever. But everything has a huge or decent sized drawback. And it's like very apparent, sure. or what have you. That'd be really cool because then you could have tons of people that have, like, even similar powers, but their drawback is different. So, so almost like darker than black. Sure, sure, kind of like darker than black, but but it just allows for some really cool character designs 
Okay. To be made because I feel like based on the intro when they had all that that huge cast of characters and yeah. stuff up there, which are probably the students at that UA high place it Drama. they're obviously going to. Right. Um that you're gonna see a lot of really wacky powers. Like some that'll be, you know, stereotypical bully uh, I can make fire explosions. explosions and stuff. But I <laughs> like <laughs> But I saw some other ones. I saw a girl that had a really big tongue. I saw a guy that had, like, jet engines on his back or something. Like... Yeah, it looks like there's going to be what? some cool stuff. There's going to be some weird, wacky stuff. So, uh, really excited to do this. Uh, we'll be doing these weekly. But, yeah. Until next time, we're Semblance to Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.